Mercedes debuted the updated A-Class to us almost nine months ago. It was amazingly subtle for a car that was more than four years old at the time. The Benz enthusiast describes it as a smash. You won't have to fiddle around endlessly if you approach it deftly from the start. Additionally, there isn't much to say about the baby Benz's appearance, both inside and out. In any case, you did a little doctoring it's only a component of it. If you look very closely, you may detect little adjustments to the grille, aprons, headlights, and bonnet. A little confusing, there is still a premium for LED headlights. You have to lure a little more carefully inside. The touchpad on the center console has been removed, and you then see a new steering wheel design. A shelf for smartphones, loose change, and other items has been placed in its place. For this test, we really went all out in terms of engines. Top model flare is denoted by a 254 Matic. Unless you bring up the two AMG variations, it almost comes as a shock, a good shock, that the A-Class price list still includes a 2-liter gasoline engine given the current downsizing and FEV craze. 250 km per hour top speed, 224 horsepower, 350 newton meters, 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.3 seconds, and those numbers don't sound all that strange. We observed that since the facelift, 48 volt mild hybridization has been used universally. Nowadays, it is prevalent everywhere. Given the performance figures, the fact that the A250 is only offered with all wheel drive and an 8 speed dual clutch transmission raises hopes for a small amount of that compact sports sensation. A few feet of driving, though, is all it takes to dash any remaining hope, as the A-Class is a lot but unquestionably not a sporty vehicle if the letters A, M, and G are not shown on the trunk lid. We need to determine what it is at this point, and there are a lot of demands. In addition to Mercedes' commitment to itself, we also made a commitment to the vehicle, given that it cost more than 60,000 euros. Oh.